a ton of credit to Jake Browning. And as we go up to uh, Joe Buck and Troy Aikman, guys, there's, there's so many layers here and there's so much. And we will get to the Bengals' victory because they earned it. But the Lawrence injury is one that doesn't just impact tonight, potentially, gentlemen. It, we wait to find out the details, but this could really change the way the entire remainder of the AFC goes, and it's just a, another in a long line of injuries this year in the NFL. I just wonder your reaction in real time to what you saw. Well, it looks to be a serious injury based on his reaction yep. that you pointed out there in the highlights, Scott. But, you know, the, the big win last week against Houston and what that meant to them within the AFC South and a win tonight, what that would have meant being the number one seed is at least where we stand right now. This loss throws all of that into a bit of a tailspin. And then you combine it with the fact that you uh, may be without your franchise quarterback here going forward. I mean, it totally yep. throws up in arms what might happen in the AFC South and how that might shake out within the AFC conference itself. So this was a huge night uh, for Jacksonville and, and the loss. And then on top of that, the bigger part of that is whatever the future might be this year for Trevor Lawrence. Jake Browning, though, shows what can happen, right? In his second start, he, he was came in in relief of uh, Burrow in the game against Baltimore. Started last week against Pittsburgh and was just spectacular in this game. Joe Troy, you both raved about him, and rightfully so. And just to watch the growth and confidence in time, I'm standing next to Ryan Clark on the field, Joe, and his eyes just get big. He said, man, this guy's just playing now. You literally could see the confidence grow, and it was like they, they won the game in part because of him, not, not in spite of him. And I think that's pretty remarkable given where we started this night. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And, and when we had a chance to meet him, um, we ended that meeting and then went right into meetings with Anna Rumo and then their head coach, Zach Taylor, and, and I said, and Troy said, you know, you just, you get the sense that this guy's got something to him. Now, how it's, how it's going to play out, who knows? Even his post-game interview with Lisa Salters, right. he, he's just very calm. He's smart, you <laughs> yeah. can tell. And once they took the training wheels off him, he played great. And, and the training wheels were on the first couple of possessions. They were able to move the ball a little bit, but every throw was around the line of scrimmage. And once Zach Taylor said, you know what? Let's let this kid play. Uh, boy, did he play. He, he was impressive tonight. Yeah, and, and Scott, I mean, he, this guy has a track record. I mean, we talked about what he accomplished in high school, what he did there at Washington. Sure. He's used to playing at a high level, mm -hmm. you know, and that's not always the case with some of these backups. But I do think that the way that they opened the game was by design, get the ball out quick. But was it going to continue that way? And they opened it up, as Joe said, pretty quickly. They're on the next possession, and I agree. I mean, he made he made some unbelievable throws. I mean, he really did. They they won this game because of Jake Browning and the way that he played, and he was fun to watch because it's not it's not easy to do. What he did tonight is just simply not easy to do. And any backup that you talk to or that watch this would tell you the same thing. So it was a night to remember, and uh, hopefully for his sake, he has a lot more like him. Well, the problems for the Bengals came is when they let other people throw the football. Yes, Browning, Brown, that's right. Browning was remarkable. Right. Exactly. We'll, what a football game we had tonight. We'll wait for updates on Lawrence. Appreciate your time, gentlemen. A doubleheader next week. Look forward to talking to you then, all right? Thank you, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Joe Buck, Troy Aikman, always enjoy our visits, particularly after this tremendous football game. The Cincinnati Bengals able to even their record at 6-6 six and six and remain in that right column right there in the hunt. We're going to see things continue to sort themselves out. As we move forward, the Dolphins are here, the one seed in the AFC. We will continue with more. Jamar Chase is going to stop by and join us in just a moment. What a night for him and the Bengals. Who day? Cincinnati.